Okay. Um, what is Excel used for? Well, if you're just getting started with Excel, or maybe you've been using you've been using it a little bit, or you probably asked yourself what is Excel all about? Um, what is it used for? Well, one way really of looking at Excel is that it's just a very big uh, grid of columns and rows, but um, you're more likely to hear Excel described as a sp sp spreadsheet package. Um, and that it really is. But really, it's a lot more than that as well, as uh, we'll see in some upcoming videos. At the bottom of the screen are different tabs here. Uh, these are called worksheets. The current one is empty. I'm going to click on the one called profits. So a lot of people would call this a spreadsheet. Now, that's a term that's widely used. And moving on to the next, we got some budget numbers here. You can see what's happening based on the headings in column A. And um, here's a bigger budget. It's the prediction for the stated here. And you'll see all sorts of information in here. I've seen bigger ones than this. And you two will probably eventually see bigger ones as well. Other people uh, use Excel for keeping lists. Next sheet over um, shows the list of customers. Um, now this may be a long list and maybe hundreds, uh, even thousands of rows. Uh, you might be recording your inventory or might be tracking sales or transactions or all kinds of reasons for maintaining different these kinds of lists. So Excel really provides lots of great data management tools for handling them. Um, next list over is your uh, list of employees. It's got a feature applied that makes it um, easier to work with. The next sheet is what we labeled here as chart. And this tells us that in Excel, sometimes we find it a bit boring to see a long list of numbers. And on that note, we can turn them into a chart like this one. And that happens very quickly too. There are all sorts of variations um, on how you can create charts and with quick ways to get there too. Now, um, there's another great analytical tool called the pivot table. You might have heard of that. Uh, we have here a long list on the right uh, screen and that what we wanted to do is make some sense out of it. And within a few seconds, you can create a list like what we're seeing on the right and that this analyzes the data by region or products and so on. Now, uh, notice on the those various column headings on the left, we can see how quickly we can come up with this. And really, you don't have to write any formulas at all. And if this is not enough, there are some smart art features like this organization chart on the right. So there are lots of different applications for Excel and that it is used throughout the world for a variety of different purposes or reasons. And it's probably the most widely used software package in the world. In the upcoming videos, you will learn more and more about how you can use Excel in so many different ways.